welcome back to our channel co for agriculture so in today's lecture 5 of principles of agriculture economics we'll see indifference curve analysis so what is indifference curve analysis it shows various combinations of two commodities which give equal satisfaction to the consumer in this ordinal utility is considered so what is ordinal utility in this we'll choose a commodity just by comparing them like for example you are given three flavors of ice cream butterscotch chocolate and strawberry so without eating all the three flavors you are just comparing the flavors and you are choosing your first preference like butterscotch is your first preference chocolate is your second and strawberry is your third just by comparing this is called as ordinal utility so in indifference curve you will consider ordinal utility so what is indifference curve analysis is when a consumer wants to have more of a commodity, he will give up some of the other commodity so that utility derived will remain same. So let us discuss this with an example. Like for example, man lo tum supermarket ja rahe ho, mango or banana kharine. So you have decided to spend 100 rupees and you are expecting the utility of 200 utils. So ab hum assume karte hai, mango ki price 10 rupees hai. और बनाना के 5 रुपीस अगर हम ईच मैंगो को कंज्यूम करने से हमें मैंगो का 20 यूटिल्स मिली है यूटिल्स का मतलब है यूटिलिटी ठीक है हमको 20 यूटिलिटी मिली है और बनाना का 10 तो अब क्वेश्चन ये है कि हम कितने मैंगो और बनाना खरीदना है हाउ मेनी मैंगोस एंड बनाना यू नीड टू बाय सो दैट द मनी स्पेंड शुड बी 100 एंड द यूटिलिटी यू गॉट इज 200 सो द आंसर इज 5 mangoes and 10 bananas. Let me explain you how. Since we are buying 5 mangoes, what is the price of each mango? 10 rupees. So 5 into 10 is 50. And you are buying 10 bananas. What is the price of each banana? 5 rupees. Again 5 into 10 is 50. So 50 plus 50 is 100. So here you are spending 100 rupees. So means it is tallied now. Next we will say utility. So if you are buying 5 banana mangoes, so what is the utility obtained sorry obtained for each mango it's 20 so 5 into 20 is 100 and you're buying 10 bananas how much utility you've got from each banana it's 10 so 10 into 10 is 100 100 plus 100 is 200 again here also it's tallied so it means you spent 100 rupees and you've got 200 utils of satisfaction it means maximum satisfaction so before going to the supermarket, you thought to buy 5 mangoes and 10 bananas. You did not buy them yet, you are thinking to buy. Okay, so now here is a twist like due to your preferences or you can say due to some of the conditions. So you have 5 mango karidne ke bajaye sirf 2 mango karidne ke. So due to your preferences we can say. Aur hume pata hai each mango ki cost hai 10 rupees. So, we bought 2 mango, so how much will it be? 20 rupees. Okay? And how much is our budget? 100 rupees. We have to spend 20 rupees in the mango. So, how much will it be? 80 rupees. It means you should buy bananas with those 80 rupees only. So, we will say how many bananas we, we have to buy with that 80 rupees. So, what is the cost of each banana? 5 rupees. 80 by 5 is 16. So, you should buy 16 bananas so if you see the uh, like if you sum up the rupees 20 plus 80 you will get 100 it means you have purchased your commodities with 100 only but the difference what is you know so in the but the, what you thought to buy before coming to Sutama supermarket 5 mangoes and 10 bananas now what did you buy in this case only 2 mangoes but 16 bananas it means your mangoes are decreased but your bananas are increased even though there is changes in the commodity the money the money how much did you spend 100 rupees how much did you thought to spend before coming to supermarket it's also 100 so your money is same so will the utility will be same or not okay so since we are buying two mangoes how much utility will get from each mango when we consume it is 20 utils so 2 into 20 is 40 utils next is 16 bananas we bought now so how much utility we get from each banana it are it is 10 so 10 into 16 is 160 
40 plus 160 is 200. Again, here also it's static. It means in this case, even though there is change in the commodity, you can say quantity change in the commodity, the money we spent is same and the satisfaction is we got is also same. So this is one case. Next, we will see another case. So instead of buying four mangoes, we bought, sorry, instead of buying two mangoes, we bought four mangoes. It means how much? Sorry, it means 4 into 10 is 40. So if you spend 40 rupees out of 100, how much will be remaining? 60 rupees. It means you should buy the bananas with 60 only. So 60 by 5 is 12 banana. In here you can see mangoes are increased to 2 from 4 and bananas were decreased to 16 from 12. So even though there is change in the commodity, I mean quantity of the commodity in this case also. But let's see the money is important and the satisfaction you got is important. Money how much? 40 plus 60 is 100. So here also money is tallied. Now we'll say utility. So in mangoes we'll get 80 because 4 into 20 is 80 and 12 into 10 is 120. So if we sum up these both it is 200. So in these two cases you have seen there is a change in the quantity of a commodity. Either one commodity has increased and one commodity has decreased. Even though there is change, the sum of the money we spend and the satisfaction we got are equal. So this phenomenon is called as indifference curve. So this phenomenon is called as indifference curve. So if we say according to our definition, what they wrote in that definition in order to get the maximum satisfaction you will give up one commodity so that you can increase the other commodity it means you gave up instead of five mangoes you bought only two mangoes means you gave up three mangoes and you have added those mangoes to the bananas so in order to take it the maximum satisfaction you will give up one commodity to increase the other commodity but in this case money and the satisfaction obtained will remain same this is called as indifference curve analysis so one will so once we'll see the graph how it goes so up upar ke do cases mein hum pata kar sakte hai ki jo amount spend kiya hai product mein wo same hai aur jab unme se utility mila hai wo bhi same hai but hame farak kis mein pad raha hai ki quantity of the product mein so quantity of the product mein hame farak pad raha hai so if you see, if you do the case 1, case 2 and you can do the case 3 on your own. Even though if you do, you will get the same. So here you can see indifference curve matlab same curve. So in all the two cases, you are getting the maximum satisfaction of 200 and the money spent is 100 means they are same. So that is why in all the three cases, the curve will be same. So here you can see the shape of the curve in each case is same so that is why we will call it as indifference curve matlab indifference means same same curve okay so next we will see properties of indifference curve there are four properties are there so the first property is the downward slope means this one this one so this is the downward slope just now we, we read about that and the second is and in the second graph the graph is literally parallel to the x-axis it means good x increases and good y remains constant so if we say we we thought to buy five mangoes and ten bananas so in our example right so we'll increase the mangoes to six mangoes but but he is saying that we should keep the bananas same literally is that possible we, we know that the most important thing is budget it is 100 rupees and utility we got is it possible to keep the one product constant and another product to increase no if we do that either utility will deviate and the money we should spend either it will increase or decrease so is this the main theme of the indifference curve no it's not so this is not applicable and also in the second graph we can see the graph is parallel to the y-axis again in this case also they are saying that good y increases and good x remain constant here they are saying banana increases to either 11 bananas and the mangoes remain same they are 5. Is it possible? No. This is also not possible. And third is this is the upward slope. In this combination of more of both goods gives satisfaction. 
it means either you should increase both of them or if you decrease both of them you get the maximum satisfaction is it possible no because you know according to the human mentality in order to get the maximum satisfaction he should give up a commodity like in the before example he gave up some of the mango so that he can buy more bananas and what is the result he got maximum satisfaction of 200 but in this case they are saying you should increase both of them or you decrease both of them you will get the maximum satisfaction is it really possible no so these are just the properties of indifference curve but they do not relate to the indifferent curve next is price line or budget line so we know that agar kuch cheeze kharidna hai budget plays an important role aur isi budget ke basis se hum product ko kharidte hain right so yahan pe quantities change ho sakte hain hame money money spend kiya hai wo same hi rehta hai last tak so the graph is denoted by straight line so even though we are changing the commodities from like from 5 mangoes to 2 mangoes or from 10 bananas to 16 bananas what is the money we spend it is same 100 only that is why this graph is kind of a straight line so if we see the definition the price line shows all those combinations of two goods which the consumer can buy by spending his given money income on the two goods at the given prices so this is price line or budget line and the next is consumer equilibrium so we have a graph that has two graphs hai. that is price line graph and indifference curve so let me tell you so this is the price line graph and uh, this is the indifference curve right so just divide this graph into two and if you observe carefully you observe these two graphs so if you observe graph ko carefully observe karo ge to ye graph mein ek point hai merge hota hai usi point ko hum kehte hai equilibrium point and it is denoted by e this point theek hai so r jo sorry e e jo is a point hai jisme hame maximum satisfaction milta hai with the help of money jo tum spend kar rahe ho for a product so if you see that even though there are changes in the commodities in order to get the maximum satisfaction you are spending all your money for the product so if you see the definition once of consumer's equilibrium the consumer reaches equilibrium position that is he attains maximum satisfaction at the point of tangency between indifference curve and the price line so the point at which these both curves they merge is called the equilibrium point at this point only the consumer attains his maximum satisfaction okay next are assumptions of indifference curve analysis so before we drew the indifference curve analysis graph so this completely depends on these assumptions only so the first assumption is the consumer have a fixed amount of money to spend on the two goods he has to spend whole of his given money on the two goods so in the previous case he bought banana and uh, mangoes right so even though there are changes in the commodities he spent his fixed money only it's of 100 rupees either he did not decrease or or he did not increase he just spend his fixed money on the two goods and all he spend his whole money that is of 100 rupees next is prices of goods are given and constant for him and the third is goods are divisible we have divided the goods that is man one is mango and banana if you want you can divide it into apple or banana or uh, chocolate or maggie it's your wish it means the goods are divisible you can buy two or more commodities next the fourth is consumer seeks maximum satisfaction so in this the consumer satisfaction plays an important role without consumer satisfaction there is nothing in this world so consumer satisfaction is important so the consumers buy a product to, to attain the maximum satisfaction even if possible he'll just give up a product and he'll add an extra commodity to the product too or we can say he will give up the mangoes like he'll make the mangoes a zero and he'll and he'll go on adding the number in the bananas just to gain the maximum satisfaction that is why the consumer seeks the maximum satisfaction 
tastes and preferences of a consumer remain constant if he wants to buy something he will buy that because taste and preferences they remain constant so these are the assumptions based on which indifference curve analysis is given so this is it guys so in today's lecture we have seen indifference curve analysis it's a really easy lecture if you have any doubts you can just go back to the lecture and just watch again thank you for watching if you have any queries you can ask us on our instagram page or you can post in the comment section you can also download the ppt from our telegram channel go for agriculture so till then take care stay tuned bye bye